Ahoy mateys, this be the Playing Dutchman, and we're playing a another episode of Night in the Woods. Probably the last episode, but I don't know. Is this the episode, episode? Is this the episode in which we should probably finish? Uh, they're all gonna read the mail I read last night, or uh, the, the mail I wrote last night. Hey May, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. See you there. Hey, man. Nice message last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork. Lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snelkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. I feel like I need to actually... No, you know what? No, no. I... Don't actually, don't, don't want to do this. I don't. I really don't. Demon Tower can suck a big dick. Epilogue starts. Alright. Might as well finish the session up. <laughs> God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. <laughs> hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. I'm gonna still find out what this all was. Okay, nothing apparently. So, let's see. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. I should like reread some of these. I mean, I got time, and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. An influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror. Science fiction and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. <laughs> Say hi to mom. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. I guess we do have something to talk about, don't we? Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... I. You're an adult, and you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you're still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because. Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town, close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Ooh, wow. Calling off for some snow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading the same book? 
Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord call the children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call the children. Bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment. Talk to places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring him in. Bring him in. Blah, blah, blah. That's morbid. It is. It's nice. Nope. It's morbid. Mm -hmm. No, that's probably... Okay. Oh, let's talk to Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bub to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. I know that. Retail, huh? They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have irregular hours. Boss's supposed to respect you. Work is supposed to be able to talk. Work is supposed to be able to have a life. Work is supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work. But I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies. And enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold onto the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory. At least for a while. But here? I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? During the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. Uh, what? Do you know what this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah. Granite must have had it from the old days. May. Thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. May! Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. <laughs> sure thing. May. Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out. Walk out? I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest nightlight plans. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum dee dum dum. Okay. Let's see if anything changed over here. Okay, so the whole tooth thing now got its closure. ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were like deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god. I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. I'm like proud of us all for having good ass lives in a shitty stupid good ass town. Here's to you Possum Springs. Here's to survival. Let's see if Baraski's up there. 
Just to make sure, probably hearing Selmer's one of Selmer's poems. But it seems to be resolved. Hey, May. Sup, Selmer's? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing. Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. No, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. I used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Snow coming. It's gonna be bad this year. Oh, stars. I saw legs on the roof. We have to come see Mr. Borowski. It's good. I don't know why, but um, recording stuff always makes me burp. Or I'm just a pig. I just like the second uh, explanation. All right. Work. Cool. You just get up to. So, okay. Jump, jump. Hey. I should start doing my own laundry. It's a step to being. Sometime. <laughs> it's a step to being a little bit more self. Uh, self sufficient. Oh, cock. Fucking hell. Whee. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazakov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. I should have known. Found it. Let us consult the guide. The fire maker. The fire maker? A wonder in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it for light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found what, they're, what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happen to you. That's nice. It's not bad. <laughs> Dusk Stargazer. Woo! I did all of this for the achievements. Supermoon is coming. What is that? A giant moon. Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on the roofs. You come, I will make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great! I want to see a supermoon. Plan on it! See you later, Mr. Chesikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Nice. All right.
definitely dead. That's sad. That's a long loading screen for just getting out of it. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel's not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place of doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. My precious are they? Okay. Ready got that line. Right. I'm not sure if the youngins are hanging out here. They are. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Stay safe, right? Wow. Thanks, mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Mom ain't working, but I'm not sure if there's any people in the church at all, so no, not here. Anyone help? Probably. See. See if there's anyone here. They look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow <laughs> because you don't see his stern face. See. Ah, there we have her. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Ah, oh, just cleaning up. How did the council folk go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things. But you tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Well, I can't do it now, but... <laughs> Run along, May. Eh. So... Over here. Nope. Just snow. We're heading back. Let's see what the rest of the town is up to. I think this is the last time exploring this town, so I don't want to leave any leaves unturned. Okay. Hey. I heard you were like in the hospital or something. <laughs> yeah. What for? Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Uh, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. 
you want to hang out sometime? Isn't that what we were doing? I mean, like, we could watch horror movies. You could meet my sister. She's, like, almost your age. What's her name? Probably know her from school. Stevie Myers. But you don't know her. She beat up someone and had to go to a different school. Oh, cool. We might get along. <laughs> Probably. She's mean sometimes, but she's cool. Sounds good. I gotta get going. It's been a weird past couple of days. Weird's good. I guess. Weird's just what happens. See you around. Later, kid. Later, killer. No one in the old pickaxe again. Hey, it's you. Yep, yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember them? Kinda. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How'd you know? Call it experience. Not hiccups. Don't get hiccups. We're recording. I swear, some mornings I feel every bit as old as these here trees. You know, something big did happen. And I feel like I should have woken up today. And like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well... In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything. But they make you something. But they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a little and see what come of it. Huh? Huh. Well, done another day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. <laughs> I'm not gonna... No. Wait, how do you know my name? Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. <laughs> I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. Maybe. It'd be a start. Like me doing retail. Mm, it'll get you money. Uh, there's no one here. Alright. Moving on. Holy crap! A, ah, a taco place. This is the best thing that happened to this town since we got the internet. We were still using Cyberfish until like two years ago because it's eternally two decades behind here. Takes you three days to tour in a movie. Takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my God, they deliver. I'm going to eat the shit out of some tacos. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that makes... That means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky. Falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. I'm more of a burrito guy. Bad news. My ex hates tacos. Good news. They're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of its general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try it all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Pretty sure that's not the voice I ever given this person. Oh, you're just alone now here. Who are you? Have you seen me around? Nah. Well, I've noticed you. That's not weird or anything. Bit cold for standing outside, isn't it? Someone's gotta stand here. Hey, you smelters fan? Uh, nah. 
Ah, well. I could have lied to make him happy, but that would also feel just a little cheap. Sup, Snell can fuck. Snell can folks. Not fuck. Well, Luke is alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like re relevant. Well, Luke, who's live and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Not yet. Snakeums. Lovely. All right, let's see. Gonna talk to Germ. I can go in there. Hmm. Camera doesn't zoom out anymore. Guess I'm not wondering what's beyond that fence anymore. Oh my god. My babies! My little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it! You've broken free! It's a miracle! I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. Let's look at all the rats. Guess, guess this place serves a purpose now. Until someone sets their eyes on it, demolishes it, or gets an exterminator. It's morbid, but it's true. Oh, we're not going up there anymore. Okay. Guess we'll enter Snellcon. Want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah! God, this drawer just does not like to be open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did y'all guys, did y'all get keys to the back door? Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where is Greg? Oh uh, yeah, we had to. He had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise. Because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think they'll last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Unless they move and change and meet new people, become new people. I think Angus is going to find he's got a lot more options. Ang Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets, who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I'm, uh, good. Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just like, stuck in neutral. You? Um, not great. I had a dream the world was ending. Might be. 
You think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, uh, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. The little cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Could you even see or feel it? No, but between you and the dads, something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yeah. Yes, it is. A failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. You don't give yourself enough credit. You keep all of this running because you care. I guess. Uh, caring doesn't always seem to be voluntary. Caring can be really terrifying. I feel like it's always there, right out of sight, following me. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store and our bills at home. Stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, I'm doing free study courses online. And I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. <laughs> yeah. Ah, we can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. Uh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. No, it was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how did you know? I uh, heard there were some rats around town. Makes me, uh, makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope Springs, rats multiply. Cute. We literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good, how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about... What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. But it does. We can go where it's really flat. They sell barbecue. I think barbecue's south. Not all of it. It's everywhere, BBQ. <laughs> all different kinds of dry, wet, ultra. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we were trapped here together... We might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. Lol. You have a way of making Doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. That is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door! Ah, uh, yeah. I think God already has. There they are! Hey, guys. Sup, nerds? It's you who are the nerds. What? 
Jeez, we've never been so insulted. Take it right back, dork. Fat chance. Hey, Greg, so I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Uh, what, the truth isn't real enough? No, you're right, the truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for, like, one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, I saw the future. Or maybe it's now the future. Or, or was the future. Like, like flying cars and shit? Uh, actually, those would be a disaster. <laughs> Finally, you admit it. You owe me five bucks. Bet's a bet. No, it was like the town was abandoned. Like being eaten and reclaimed by nature or some shit. I went down to where my house used to be. When I was there, I felt completely hopeless. But now I think I could just build another house. Or I could just move on. Knowing when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, I lost my entire train of thought. I had it for a second, then it was gone. Song and pizza sounds good, May. Song and pizza! Yeah. Good enough. So you're gonna have me suck it. Oh! I was gonna say, you're gonna have me suck at another Guitar Hero-like segment. <laughs> but that was the game! Damn! <laughs> that was really something. Like, deep... and shit. <laughs> ah. Just... Ah, I don't know what to completely think of this game. It's definitely very well made, but like... It gets you thinking about stuff and not necessarily make you happy. <laughs> so to have any themes it deals with I don't think I don't know. I, I'm I'm not sure everyone could handle a game like this. When it's something palpable or something that's just a danger to your life, it's different, but when it's a psychological terror. Or like, it turned out to be these, these cult daddies, but, I don't know, <laughs> like the, the, all the issues that May had, and all the issues that the town seemed to be having are very real. <laughs> I still really like this game, though, and it'll be in my head for a while to come. It's very well made, very awesomely written, because it wouldn't have gotten to me if it wasn't. Uh, yeah. No, no ideas what else to say, except just letting these credits play out because these people deserve the uh, kudos. <laughs> They're very, uh... Very, very simple looking, but still friendly looking credits, as in not too small. They look more like, like child novels, like the Eco the Cat, nice. Like the, 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 the type font makes it look very kid friendly, even though the game is not at all kid friendly. <laughs> hey, Sharky. <laughs> Bye, Sharky. Rip Casey. Yeah. That was the game.
I don't know exactly what to tell more about it, except that I really enjoyed it. And, uh, if... I mean, there's some choices I could have made differently, but if you want to see those, you're gonna just have to play the game yourself. Because these people deserve your money. Anyway, if you like this game, give us a like, and join me crew for more booty. But now, off the plank with you! A free sale, the zone they tell from every corner of the realm!